In this video, we'll take a quick look at why you might be arriving at incorrect answers when using the Pythagorean theorem. Now, if you find you're getting the wrong answers, try asking yourself these questions. Am I identifying the hypotenuse? Am I calculating the correct side length? Am I squaring the side lengths? And am I remembering to square root? So let's work through an example and see where these issues can creep up. In this problem, we need to determine the unknown side length in the given triangle. And first we'll consider the diagram method, and after that we'll take a look at the algebra method. Regardless of which method you use, I recommend that the first thing you do is identify the hypotenuse of the triangle. And here it's 6.1 centimeters, it's the side across from the right angle. Identifying the hypotenuse right away is a good idea because it'll play a significant role in how our solution unfolds. So we've taken care of the first check mark on the left side of the screen, we've identified the hypotenuse. Now notice that the side that we're going to be finding is not the hypotenuse. So the second check mark on the left side of the screen is am I calculating the correct side length? It's really important to remember the side length we are calculating here is not the hypotenuse. So let's do what we normally do with the diagram method and draw squares on each side of our triangle. Now hopefully drawing the squares is enough to remind you that you need to find areas because the Pythagorean theorem is really all about the areas of these squares. And that's the third check mark on the left. Am I squaring the side lengths? So let's do that right now. This square has a side length of 6.1 centimeters. So 6.1 times 6.1 gives us an area of 37.21 centimeters squared. And similarly, the bottom square has a side length of 2.8 centimeters. So we can do 2.8 times 2.8 to get an area of 7.84 centimeters squared. So we've taken care of squaring the side lengths. Now we need to find the area of this square. And so often I see students take these two values and add them together to get the area of this square. Well, that would be true if this square was based on the hypotenuse of the triangle, but it's not. And this goes back to the second check mark on the left side of the screen. Am I calculating the correct side length? Remember the two small areas add up to the hypotenuse square area. So what we really need to find here is what number plus 7.84 gives us 37.21. And we can calculate that by doing 37.21 minus 7.84. So 37.21 minus 7.84. And that gives us 29.37. So always ask yourself, am I calculating the correct side length? If we're finding the hypotenuse, we'll be adding two areas. But if we're finding a side that's not the hypotenuse, we'll be subtracting. Last but not least, we have to remember that this is not our final answer. That number 29.37 is the area of this square. We were asked to find the unknown side length here. And in order to do that, we need to find which number multiplied by itself gives us 29.37. And we do that by taking the square root. So if we take the square root of 29.37, we get approximately 5.4. And that is the unknown side length. Now let's take a look at the algebra method. With the algebra method, I once again recommend that you start by making a note of where the hypotenuse is in our triangle. And there it is again there, 6.1 centimeters. It's the side across from the right angle. And we usually start the algebra solution by writing out the Pythagorean theorem equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. From that point, we usually start substituting values for a, b, and c. And this is where the second question on the left comes into play. Am I calculating the correct side length? Remember, we are not calculating the hypotenuse here, so we should not call that side c because side C in our equation over here represents the hypotenuse. So if we call this A, we can substitute A squared plus B squared, which is 2.8 squared, equals the hypotenuse squared, which is 6.1 squared. This is a critical step. Remember that C has to be the hypotenuse. The third question on the left says, am I squaring the side lengths? This is usually not a big concern with the algebra method because the squaring is visible right there in the equation, but make sure you remember to square. So we can write a squared plus 2.8 squared, which is 7.84, equals 
equals 6.1 squared, which is 37.21. And we can go and isolate A. We'll start by subtracting 7.84 from both sides of our equation. The last question on the left says, am I remembering to square root? It's easy to forget to square root and think that this is the final answer here, but remember that's the value of a squared. We need to find the length of side a. In order to do that, we can use the inverse operation of squaring, which is square rooting. And the square root of 29.37 is approximately 5.4. And there you go. So remember to always identify the hypotenuse and pay close attention to which side you're being asked to calculate. Make sure that you're squaring the side lengths to get the areas. And don't forget to square root at the end to get the desired side length.